talking about the situation where they uh, called the police, uh, called the police, and uh, Kim said there was the campus police, called the campus police on a young man for sitting in the wrong seat. And you know, uh, I already gave y'all my opinion. I want to know what you think. Uh, get out us eight six six nine R I C K E Y. Rick's about the morning show. Good morning. The problem is, if there was no crime committed, the police shouldn't have been called. It is absolutely disgusting. I am raising a young king and queen, and the things that this can happen to them just blows my mind. Maybe if we start giving them the same energy, they can see how we truly feel. Yes, I feel like the professor had every right to ask the student to leave for being in the incorrect seat. But he abused his authority by calling the police, and that was just not right. This is a college, I think you said a university. So this is a paid service that he paid for. So you can't tell you where, where to sit at anyway. That was totally wrong. I mean, come on, really? Because he wasn't in his seat, and he went unnoticed for a period of time before you really? Like this, if I'm paying $20,000 a year, I should be able to sit at your desk. Preach! Oh, come on oh. now. <laughs> come on now. Preach! <laughs> Man! But, you, but, Rick, yeah. But I think, though, uh, uh, I don't know if the point was put out there or not, but I think we might be missing the point. All that stuff that was just said, that may be true. But now they're saying, though, that this pro, um, the, the professor, he made it very clear. They say he requires assigned seating. So if he required a signed seat, and they said, now, uh, now the Benson guy, now he, he gave the guy ultimate right to change the seat, or he's going to call the law enforcement. The guy didn't change the seat, so he called the police. If the man required a signed seat, Gary, you got to no call, call, call the police on nobody. Yeah, and, yeah, and but, the thing is, is he went half the class not sitting in that seat and unnoticed, and it obviously didn't bother anybody. And I do agree, rules are rules, no matter what color you are. If the, the guy requires a signed seating, then it's a signed seating. But the question is, is do you go to the extreme to call the police? Because anything can about. happen well, after people that. People call the police. You know, people of non African American. America of the sin, they are scared. Scared, and they of, scared, scared of what, Gary? Scared that the damn boy would attack them or something. And I you know, they're going to call the police. Back, sitting in the back of the class, there's no threat. There's no threat. It, it ain't, hell, I was at the doggone um, phone place. And um, mm -hmm. I got upset because the people wouldn't get on working with me the way I thought they should have been working with me. Mm -hmm. So we started arguing. What they do? They call the police. So that's what they're going to do. People going to call the police but or see, you break your voice. the problem is, is that they might... You might argue with them and get a little confrontational, but when the police comes to to calm down a black man being called by a white person, anything can happen. All right, we got a parent in here. This is uh, one of my one of my classmates from Birmingham, Alabama. She's a SARA member of Delta Sigma Theta, Adrian Marche Peterson from Birmingham, Alabama. So, what is your opinion on this? And she's a graduate from Alabama A and M University. So they called the police, Adrian. They called the police on this kid in college for sitting in the wrong seat and as a parent how would that make you feel well, I think it would make speak me loud feel, come on to it i think it would make me feel very angry um because it appears that it would be more towards his race than actually him being a deterrent or having an issue of, of being in the seat uh, i think we should have make our voices loud made it make it be heard that there's nothing wrong with him sitting in a, in a seat and I'm sure there weren't assigned seats in college. They are. Um, well, well, in okay. his class, there were assigned seats, but he said he was sitting in the back to charge his laptop. Okay. So, and, but but is that a reason to call the police? Though? No, it's not a reason. To call and he the sat police. in that seat the first half of class without the professor saying anything about it. Was there a deterrent for a threat or anything? It's just he wanted to move. You see what I'm saying? That's 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 what I'm thinking. Yeah, uh, no, I don't agree with that one. Yeah. It'd be so cool when your friends from from your church. We've been knowing each other since since I've been knowing her since she was three years old. <laughs> shout out to shout out to Miss Alex. What up, Miss Alex? Oh my God! Thanks she listening. <laughs> oh, Is she listening? Oh yeah. <laughs> All right, y'all. Rick Smiley, the morning show. What, what happened? Okay, so at Ball State University in Indiana, the students are protesting because there was a confrontation between a professor and a student. Now the professor is white. He requires that all the kids sit in a assigned seat. The students and the student was black. This black kid was sitting in the back of the class. He was charging his laptop while the class was going. Now, the class is almost over. One of the kids from the front of the class gets up and leaves. And I think then the professor realized that the kid in the back was not in his assigned seat and required for him to come down and sit in his regular seat. Now, the kid protested and said, hey, I'm charging my laptop. The class is almost over. Let me make it. The professor gave him an ultimatum. Change your seat or I'm calling law enforcement. What? And then ended up calling the police in on this kid. All right, so if he was not sitting in the proper seat, the whole, like the first half of the class, 
and the professor had no problem with it, what's the problem? I mean, maybe he didn't notice it. So the, the, the question is, is where did this go wrong? Was it when the college kid refused to move from his seat or was it when the professor called the police to come to the class? Like, where is it? Where? Who, who's at fault? Okay, now, if the kid, if, and it's just me, if the kid is sitting in the back of the class and, he's char- and he has a legitimate reason for sitting there charging his laptop, which he needs for his class, and he's not being disrupted, mm-hmm. he's not bothering anybody, he's not disrupting the class, then how does it skip uh, saying, hey, can you excuse yourself? If, 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 if Rules are rules, I get it. Okay, so why does it have to go to the extreme of calling the police as opposed to say, sir, can you get out and I'll see you tomorrow? Right. How does you skip all of that and go straight to calling the police? And, and, and that's a problem because whenever you call the police on black people, it don't go good all the time. Most of it, the time. It, 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 it sometimes leads to death. Well, I think, and, I think the student actually dismissed himself from the class because he did not want to risk that. He didn't, he didn't want to have an encounter with the police, so he, the student just left. So, But the police still came. I believe yeah. so. Right. And that professor needs to be held accountable for uh, calling the police because that's that's not a crime. See, see what I'm saying? You call the police, uh, it's, it's, it's 911. In order to call the police, you have to dial 911, right? Right, emergency. So it, that's emergency. Exactly. So what, where is there an emergency <laughs> of somebody sitting in the back of a freaking class right. charging up their laptop? Yep. You know, the police are called when a crime is committed, If, I, if unless I'm wrong. No, come unless on. Unless I'm missing something. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and what, what, what people need to understand, when you involve the police with uh, in this Trump world mm-hmm. where people are starting to feel themselves and uh, uh, you got Ku Klux Klan that have infiltrated the police departments all over the country, and you call the police up on a, 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 a African American male, which they shoot down. You that's the percentage of uh, raise the the percentage of something he could possibly get of killed. Something happening. Absolutely. And the kid actually says, uh, you know, the cops ended up catching up with him later, and he said he left because he was in fear. He's in fear of the police. They could have injured him or even killed him. So that's literally why he left the class because of the climate. And he's a black boy. He knows what they do to black boys. So that's why he left. Yeah. So the police still went to, and found him? They went and found him on campus later for that sitting, day. For sitting in the wrong seat? <laughs> right. They man. had no reason to approach him to talk to him about anything. Yeah, when the police right. got to the classroom and the teacher said he had already left, as a police officer, I'm like, all right, well, cool. It resolved. Okay. The right. problem's over. Then the police shouldn't have left, and that should have been that. That's it. Or whatever. So how come it didn't go to the school, to the, to the dean of student affairs or... Or uh, uh, the higher official, uh, if there's a problem with a student or whatever. So uh, call us up and let us know what you think. Uh, 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 we need to call us up. Let us know what you think, uh, unless I'm wrong. No. Unless, unless something is terribly wrong wrong with me. Right. You know, I want to know what you think. Get at us. Eight, six, let me know what you think on here. 866-9-R-I-C-K-E. 